crime sentencing. Yeah, that's right. One of two men sentenced in that deadly hate crime spree. 16 WABT's Ross Adams live at the federal courthouse in downtown Jackson tonight. Ross. Yeah, today is rapid, marking the conclusion of this nearly four year hate crime that happened nearly four years ago. Je John Blaylack, one of the guys who was being sentenced today, given 20 years behind bars in federal prison. The other individual, the other defendant, Robert Rice, his sentencing is continued until next Friday afternoon, so we will learn next week how long he will serve in prison. And we're going to take you back to some of the testimony, asking for mercy from the court. Blaylock's uncle, a minister from T Kentucky, testified that he believes God wanted James Anderson to die so that his nephew's life could be changed. The judge asked the minister, you want to make it even? Why don't you run over your nephew? Now, prosecutors say Blaylock was present on all of the trips that the conspirators took to Jackson and he even collected beer bottles they used to attack blacks leading up to the deadly encounter with James Anderson. Now the other defendant, as we mentioned, Robert Rice, his attorney told the court that his client was sorry for what he called making the dumbest doing the dumbest thing he'd ever done. The judge said he was only sorry because he had gotten caught, and he said that there was evidence that Rice is a dangerous racist who would still be out targeting blacks had he not been caught. Earlier, we had a chance to catch up with the victim's family. What do you think his legacy would be as a result of this? Love in spite of it all. And we will learn, because now I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to spread it all over the world and the country that hate is not the way. We should love ye one another. Justice will be served. Another witness taking the, take, taking the stand in court today in, on behalf of Blaylock, he told the judge he believes the young man had been influenced and bullied by students, other students, at Brandon High School and that he believes what he did grew out of what he says is the mentality of a lot of people in South Rankin County who he says are still fighting the Civil War and still living in the 1960s. For now, we're live at the federal courthouse in downtown Jackson. Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. A long day, Ross. Thank you. Now, of course, this case started back in 2011 when surveillance video showed a pickup truck running down James Anderson at the Metro Inn on Ellis Avenue. Anderson's murder launched a federal investigation that found a group of teenagers behind that and other race-related attacks. And in February, a federal judge sentenced Daryl Dedman to 50 years, John Rice to 18 and a half years, and Dylan Butler to seven years. Earlier this month, a judge gave Sarah Graves and Shelby Richards maximum sentences. And again, Robert Blaylock sentenced today to 20 years in prison. Robert Rice will be sentenced in this case next Friday.